Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David, and I will probably be with <laughs> joined by Nico shortly. He's uh, been scratching at my table, stretching out and meeping in the corner here, and I think he's going to want some some camera time, <laughs> as only cats can do. Um, cat man do? Cats can do. I guess they they mispronounce we mispronounce it. Anyways, um, this is going to be a reading on uh, uh, the appeal about the Fonnie Willis uh, decision being left on the Georgia Rico case. Uh, Judge McAfee had left it open that Trump and the other defendants could appeal that ruling, and it appears that they have filed a motion to appeal it. As if on cue. Okay, everybody who needs cat tax, here we go. You gonna look at the you gonna look at the camera? Stop. He likes to bite my bracelets. See? See what I mean? They're my bracelets. Leave them alone. Nobody asked you up here. Alright, so we're gonna use the cat as a as a barrier. If I back up more, you get to see his ears. What cute ears you have. Boink, boink. Um, so <laughs> as I'm now distracted. Uh, so Fonnie Willis uh, was it was judged that she could be stay on the case uh, the judge had a what was that crazy word that he used it's uh, not one that we use in normal uh, uh, normal conversation whatever the one where said he didn't feel like she was being fully truthful but there was no evidence to show that she was not being truthful um so there's going to be an appeal and i want to uh, throw to see if that appeal is going to be successful in the impact on fonnie willis now in previous readings i've done she kept showing up as the eight of swords which uh i thought this whole thing was going to be done with judge mcafee's ruling but apparently not so she may not be out of the woods yet uh, Libby from Meister Tarot did a reading on this earlier today, and uh, Libby was seeing that uh, you might see something along the lines of Fonnie Willis uh, stepping back and not being the public face of the case. Doesn't mean she's off the case. It just means that she, somebody else in the office might do the prosecution. She takes a step back, and that would be a way to um, find a compromise to keep the trial moving forward. So I want to see if that's going to be the case. Now for you, my friend, you need to come down. Say hello to your fans. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, go. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> he might jump back up again because, you know, cats. Um, but uh, what is the energy around this appeal that Trump and company are throwing up against Fonnie Willis in Georgia? Come on down. Decks. Here he comes. The deck is upside down. We have the, the Cat of Swords. Um, it's it's a new opportunity for them to get the justice that they feel they, they weren't given by the judge. So, so, you are just a pain in the butt. Why are you such a drama queen? Huh? Yeah, you belly. Come on, I'm doing this. Oh, God. Stay down. We've had enough of you. <laughs> enough of you for now. You're being a camera hog. My show. Get your own show. Yeah. Make you as famous as uh, Cash Peter's Cat Olive before it's all said and done. Okay, so Ace of Swords, this is a new opportunity for them to appeal the, the ruling. And I think they feel like they're going, they didn't get a fair shake and they're going to do it again. Crossed by the Three of Cups. Yeah, they didn't like that first ruling that the um, that Judge McAfee said. And they think they're going to get more satisfaction by appealing this. I don't know. I don't know what they feel that uh, they're going to get on appeal. Honestly, I really don't think... There's no there there. Nothing was proven on this. And ultimately, I suspect what this three of cups is even though they think they've got a good shot i think that what they're going to find is they're not gonna they don't like that ruling come on dude you're being a pill 
I will tuck the thing up a second. You know, if he just hung out on the side and, you know, he could just lay near the carts, that would be fine. But he has to lay in front of you. So he got tossed out of the room. My apologies for all the cat fans out there. I gave him multiple opportunities and he just wouldn't comply. <laughs> Underneath it all, we have the Ace of Pentacles. It's another opportunity that they want to take on this. Throw some money at it. Maybe they'll get some some payback or some uh some value out of it but again a pair of aces that we've got so there's a big motion here they think that again i really think they feel like they've got something out of this in the past you got the four of coins the restriction the contraction trying to keep information i given the judge's order that encouraged them to file the uh the appeal um, uh, because the judge basically in his ruling was uh, saying that he really didn't think uh, that uh, Fonnie Willis had done anything uh, illegal, but there was that quote odor of mendacity. So the judge wasn't fully convinced and they're going to try and ride that wave through there current situation is the three of coins if yeah going to the appeals court or to, to to whoever they're appealing this to and trying to get them uh to review this case and make a ruling on it overarching energy is the death card now this could be bringing the case to an end because of course they want this thing tossed out because this is not a great case for them you've got a bunch of guilty pleas already and they want this thing gone um but if not uh bringing the case to the end i think they want to bring Fonnie willis to an end on this the lesson to be learned is the king of swords there could be a tough decision that's being made on this one i, I do think libby's got a point there as far as um as far as uh Fonnie willis might have to make that tough decision is it better to you know, step back from the case and let somebody else take over it so that the odor of mendacity is, uh, is uh, mendacity is not present with the case? But there's going to be a decision made, and it's going to be a harsh decision. Uh, outcome is going to be the Six of Cups. Uh, there's that naivety again. The, the, the couple that was in love, it's, it's going to impact on that. I don't think they're going to toss out the case. I don't think they're going to ban Fan Fonny Willis from it. But I do think that um, Fonny Willis has to make a value choice on this. If this was like a Fonny Willis reading, this would be, you know, she's she's got the sort of justice. She knows she's got the sort of justice and she's been exonerated on this. They're trying to, you know, restrict her on this case. But I think there was also some information restriction. It's now getting appealed. Um, and with that appeal, again, they're trying to kill the case. Something might need to change here. And it's a tough decision that needs to be made regarding, um, regarding the relationships. But what's the biggest value in the case? I will ask the next question. Will she step down? Step back. Excuse me. Don't say step down. Step back. She doesn't need to step down. She's not been ordered to step down. She's not been found guilty of anything. Before asking that question, I should ask, has she considered the possibility of stepping back is she weighing the consequences of um the controversy around her dating situation with the integrity of this case she hasn't done anything wrong there was no decision showing she's done anything wrong but has she stopped and considered 
the option of stepping back as a way to uh, main, uh, maintain the value, the integrity of this case. Let's take a look at that justice card. Uh, she probably has, and she probably thinks it's unjust. Let's do the full spread on this one. King of Wands. Uh, probably the judge. Didn't like what the judge did on that. The world card. Because um, it could be bringing her participation to an end on it. If she has... This could also be if she has a male mentor or a mentor... Her, it could be her dad. It could be a, a, a colleague that she respects. doesn't have to be male or female. I shouldn't get hung up on the king or not. But there might be a contemplation about Fani's actions with regard to justice and to bring this case to a close and her involvement with it. Um, there we go. Um, the Eight of Swords. Again, she feels trapped. Uh, a victim of something that doesn't seem to be relevant for the case. Now, again, this person could be can cut their binds, it can move their blindfold and move away. You don't have to be a victim in this. But <clears throat> this relates to my previous readings. Current situation is the Empress. The case's best interest is in mind. I think she feels like she is the best. Oh, my God, I'm not even showing you the cards. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Justice card. <laughs> King of Wands. <laughs> Underneath is the world card. It's about the justice of the case and the action she needs to take. She feels like she's been victimized in the past with this one. It's unfair. Current situation is the Empress card. I'm looking down at the cards. I don't look up at the camera very often. Um, looking at the Empress here, she feels like she's the best person for this case. But it could also very well be that what's the best thing for this case? You need to find that balance right there when you're looking at the justice card. Uh, and it really becomes down to ego versus non-ego. Underneath it all, something needs to come to an end. Something needs to come to a, a stop. There's a, a cycle ending here. That's a familiar looking card. Um, as it was the outcome here. Overarching situation is the Six of Cups, her relationship. It's also, again, a naivety. You know, she feels like she's the best person for the case but does she really need to do it? What's what's the bigger value? Is this to advance her career or is this to hold this man accountable? Is it both? Is it neither? Decisions need to be made, but that's kind of the arch, overarching situation, which is great if she has some type of mentor to talk to about this. There's their Ace of Pentacles again. That was the underlying card before. This could be a big opportunity or this could be a giant chunk of fool's gold here. Her decision really can impact this case and how people look at this case. Outcome is the three of wands. Uh, she's coming to a decision with it, um, whether she stays or goes, but she, she has she been thinking about, she has been thinking about this and I think she's been talking to somebody about her actions. Whether this is like her father, this could be um, uh, Nathan Wade, it could be somebody else who she respects on that one. I think she's talking about you know the pros and cons if she stays on the case or leaves. But we've got to leave. This is kind of a bringing things full circle and waiting for your ship to come in. It could be that she's waiting for the decision to come in on this appeal on this appeals uh, case. Now, here's a thought. Not to anger anybody, but here's a thought. Sometimes we do things to show that we're right. But like, you know, again, for instance, with this case, she might go through the appeal. She went through the original, uh, the original challenge and basically said, yep, I was right. I should not be kicked off this case. Now we go through the appeal, fight the appeal. The appeals court says, you know, sides with Fonnie Willis again. She does not need to be removed from this case. And it's kind of like a, ha, told you both times, I don't need to be removed from this case. But at that point, do you stay on the case or do you take yourself off? In other words, do you walk because you choose to walk versus you being forced? 
to walk. So she has to kind of, and that's, that's an ego thing. It's not fair. It's not right. But what is it that you want? And is your decision how much of it's being driven by your ego? No, you, they kicked me off the case. Now I'm going to stay on it because screw those people. Versus, you know, if this was somebody else coming to her with advice regarding a case they're looking on, she could probably look at it in a much more neutral fashion. But oh man, are the passions flying on this one. <laughs> if you saw her testimony, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She's a queen. <laughs> Don't mess with her. Um, I don't think she's going to be told to step down, but will she step down voluntarily? After, after she's been told she can stay on the case, will she stay on the case or will she step down? There'll be discussions in the background where this could even be that case because that was coming out as the, the current situation here. Three of coins and a betrayal, heartbreak betrayal. Well, this could be, yeah, you're told you have to come off the case. I don't think, I think she's just going to get urged to it. She doesn't, she talks with people. It would be like if she pulled the people in her office, if they had a group meeting, be as candid as you want. Let's discuss this. And they're saying, you know, you should step down. And she's hurt because she wants their support. But looking at this positive energy, I think it's, you know, they're approaching her as a friend. They're not doing it to, because they have don't have faith in her. They're, they're doing it because they have compassion for her. It could also be underneath that she doesn't want to step down from this, but there's a good person who could replace her. You know, I don't, I can do this. I have this thing nailed down. I hate the fact that I have to step down. She might be asked to step down, but it's also like I could pass the mantle on to this person and have them do it. Let's see. <sighs> Seven of Swords. I, I, it's like things, she's getting stuff taken away. This is unfair. What is absolutely hap happening to her is unfair. Things are being stolen. Heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal. It's like, she looks, you know, it's kind of like, why is God doing this to me type of thing? I, you know, I'm allowed to have a boyfriend. I am allowed to even date somebody in the office. There's nothing wrong with it. But everything seems to be getting taken away from her. And she doesn't understand why. And she doesn't like it. And a lot of us don't like it either. But again, we get to look through the porthole of the, of the world. We don't look at the big picture and God doesn't ask us our opinion, doesn't consider our opinions on these things. Not part of his plan. <laughs> Current situation is the hermit. Path forward or retreating, moving, moving away from something. Uh, the path forward is going to be obvious. Again, this could be a card of movement and illumination of arching energy. This is that which her contemplation, the outcome here is the overarching energy here. And again, we've got betrayal and, and loss. And this card could be, you know, leaving, retreating, leaving type of thing. Lesson to be learned, Page of Swords. It was a rookie mistake. Just, just a, a, a silly error on her part. Outcome is the offer she doesn't like. Offer she doesn't like. I I still think that she will not be well, it's possible the three of swords could be she's told she has to, to step back from it 
But if she's not told to step back from it, I think she's being given guidance to step back from it. And she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it one bit. All right. Spirit. How about giving us some insight? Why is Fonnie Willis going through this right now? What is the lesson to be learned from these trials and tribulations? Is there a reason she's not supposed to be on this case? Because all signs, it doesn't make any sense why she should be removed from this. So maybe you could shed some, some, some light into this. Because your collective over here is none too happy about it. Uh, these two cards. Uh, instead of a four card, I'll do a six card. Because there's a couple cards in here that keep trying to fly out here. <sighs> Messaging. Moving on about values. Money. Cross with um, the Queen of Wands. Actions. Looking forward. Uh, forward looking actions. What the in God's name does this mean? Um, and there's that three of wands. This might have to do with behaviors with money that she has, budgets, things along those lines that while right now wouldn't get her into much trouble, they could cause her trouble later if she doesn't learn her lesson now. I seem to recall that she's been admonished before for uh, something that's happened in her office. I don't remember if it was budget or expense related, but I think what Spirit's trying to say here is that there's a lesson involving money or values and looking down the road that she hasn't or or actions she's taken that haven't been addressed yet. And it's better you learn your lesson now because there's a bigger lesson coming if you don't learn your lesson now. In the past, it's the lover's card. And it can have to do with her relationships, both at work and in personal life. There's, there's something going on, you know, I'm not saying she's corrupt. I'm not saying she's charging things. But like if there was an audit or something along those lines, that, that could get her into trouble later on. There might be bigger and better things for this young woman going forward that if she doesn't address now, they're going to come back and bite her in the butt later. And it might be uh, relationships wise. Um, budgets generosity but it's it's like that documentation of budgets it's budget related it's money related there's some budgetary money related expenses related thing that she needs to take care of that she hasn't addressed and it's going to come back and bite her in the butt later on could even cost her a big case maybe even this case but it's she's got to be careful about that Again, about relationships, um, we had this. Uh, this card came up as the uh, the the card underneath the underlying energy card um, that you know somebody that she's in a relationship with. If that relationship ends, they might be a false friend and go forward and and rat on her about uh, what they would consider to be corruption. In this particular case, I do think though that. Some people might be acting in her best interest. This card may not relate with that last one, but it's kind of that that spiritual energy around it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's <sighs> karma. It's comes around and around and around again. There's behaviors that she's doing with money and relationships that are leading her to a karmic, a karmic fate. That the sooner she learns her lesson, the less she has to repeat it. The longer it goes, there's something coming. If she doesn't address it soon, there's going to be something coming. And there's that world card again. Wheel of Fortune coming to a conclusion. Yeah, um, it could cost her her career.
I mean, even right now with, um, if, if let's say if she wanted to even just in a very simple way, running for reelection by taking the hit now and acknowledging a relationship, she could be doing something better on for her career later on. But I do think that there's behaviors that are going on with this case that were illuminated by this, why you have your odor of mendacity. There might be some fire where there's smoke. You know, kind of like when you break the law a little bit, maybe you start break, you get comfortable and you break it a little bit more and a little bit more. There could be bigger things for Fonnie Willis going forward, but she needs to learn this lesson now so that um, she gets like, like an integrity reset type of thing. She might be straying down, starting to wander off the uh, straight and narrow path a little bit, and this might shove her back on. Uh, it seems unfair to us, but we don't know her life path. We don't see the big story. We don't see the big picture. And um, and uh, we're not in charge. <laughs> as much as I want to be in charge. Uh, so we'll leave it here. Uh, so sum up. I don't think she'll be kicked off the case. It's possible. I don't think she'll be kicked off the case simply because there's just no evidence there to prove wrongdoing. It, there's just no evidence there. There's there's nothing to do that. That being said, it might be in the case's best interest if she steps back from the case and lets somebody else take over it. And by stepping back and, you know, just it's humiliating to have to take yourself out of the game when you know that you could take see this trial all the way through to victory. But I suspect she has really competent people in her um in her office that could also see this trial all the way to victory. And this just might be one of those lessons that the next time she's doing something that she's a bit more cognizant about keeping receipts, documenting expenses, you know, staying within her budget, because in the back of her mind's like, there's no way I'm gonna let any other mother do this to me again. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and look. Here's all the records. All on the up and up. She might have been straying from that. So hopefully uh, this helps her out on the long run, even if we don't like the short term uh, answer for it. Thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, everything you do to feed the algorithm so this video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel recently for the first time, welcome. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.